Today we're going to have a look at Fiverr, or Fiverr, as I thought it was pronounced the first time I saw it. A website where you can find the perfect freelance services for your business. Today I'm going to create some sketches and some uh, concept pieces that I'm going to give to freelance artists on Fiverr and just sort of see what you get back. And this is an idea I did get from another YouTuber, uh, specifically the video by Samurai Guitarist. I'll link it in the description, so credit to him. He actually did the same thing but with music. It was very entertaining and I'm very interested to see what happens if you create a very rough sketch and send it out to other artists to create some art for you. Now I will of course be paying them what they're asking for on their Fiverr accounts and we're going to be looking at some different options and see what cheap Fiverr artists give me and what more expensive Fiverr artists give me. But I don't actually have an account, so first I'm gonna sign up. Username. I can't be Jazza or Draw with Jazza, it's gotta be a secret identity. I am not a spy. <laughs> Perfect, find a service. Um, character art. I will create your character concept art for you. This is all very, very affordable. I feel like I'm ripping people off by paying 20 or $30 for an artwork. Although they are putting their best work on their Fiverr account. So who knows if what we'll get will end up being that. <laughs> well, look, first things first, I need a foundation for them to work from. So let's go cutesy and then like epic. If I, don't, I shouldn't add details. I go to add details like eyebrows and stuff. I should just add the very basic proportions that they can work with. Here you go, got a cute little chibi dude with a way too big sword, pulling it out, ready for battle. I'll ask for them to do a helmet that looks cool. Keep it open, it's a bit of a challenge, you know, see what you can come up with yourself. I'll leave the expression and the details up to our artists. Here's someone who looks quite suited to doing character concept art, commercial use. Does a YouTube video count as, I guess it sort of does because I'm monetizing this video. So fair's fair, I will pay you to be able to monetize your creation on my video, doing it legitimately, people. All right, I've paid them. Now it's time to give you my instructions. Cute knight character, male or female is your choice. Please add a cool helmet. Let's throw a bit of a curveball. Please include a family crest that features a chicken head. Perfect. Bam, done. Let's get a few of the same one done and see what people come back with. <laughs> I will do superhero character design art. Only superhero. A knight counts as a, I'm gonna, I'm gonna commission you and see if you refuse to draw a knight. It's sort of fun shopping for people to do my work for me. <laughs> I wonder if I can get someone to run my YouTube channel this way. Video ideas. Please write for me video ideas for YouTube. Art related. For example, painting with printer ink. That'd be a good video. <laughs> I should make a Fiverr account. Or just good YouTube videos. 20 to 30 ideas. I'm really running dry here. Perfect. There's a lot of talented people here. Here's one for $22. Hey, look at that. There's, a, there's an example of a sketch someone gave them and then the final artwork. Very cool. All right, let's do it. You're hired. What's Fiverr Pro? Good Lord. Design a modern 2D cartoon character, $1,200. You don't look any better than everyone else. What makes you so good? <laughs> Holy crap, one character. I'm doing it, I'm doing it, God damn it! I feel like I'm at a, at a blackjack table and I'm like, I'm all in, I'm all in again. What is wrong with me? My wife is gonna kill me for this. Please carry character design in full color with a really polished aesthetic. Don't forget the, the chicken head family crest, okay? I have a pro, $300, let's see how pro it truly is. Remember to like this video and subscribe and make sure to share this video and enjoy it because if people see it, I might get my money back and I might do it again because this is sort of fun. Time to amp it up, people. I'm gonna have a giant robot. Big robot arm that looks like it's got a big fist. Those sort of like legs that go in and then out. All right, now that, <laughs> that just looks like he's got like buckled knees. Here we go, something like that. Then our hero looking up at the beast. There's my jetpack. There we go. We've got mountains in the background and a volcano. A volcano over here. Something in the foreground. Rubble. A few like things poking out. I think that sort of gets the idea across. Beautiful. All right, I'm gonna hire you for a premium artwork. Oof, I'm excited. I wanna see what these people can do. More specifically, I wanna see what they do with my like very spat out concepts. I'd like to hire you to create an epic artwork for my book cover. It's a story about a giant robot causing the apocalypse. The hero, his name is, uh, Gary, yes, <laughs> is the only one brave enough to answer 
the call. Beautifully written. I should be a writer. And the robot is powered by a demonic uh, crystal. Also, the hero has a pet cat, which I forgot to include in the sketch. I really need to rein it in. How many have I done? Yeah, I should calm down. <laughs> How much have I spent? About $800. I'm gonna wrap it up there. But when I say wrap it up, what I actually mean is reveal. Because uh, I am going to fast forward through time. I've recorded this all in one session. And with the power and magic of editing, we will soon experience everything I've paid for. And hopefully so much more. Do you like my transition effect? It's been about a week and a half, I think. How, when did I do this? Order date, May 7th, and it is today, the 20th of May, so it's been more than a week and a half. Now I believe all of the orders I made have been completed and delivered, except for the Fiverr Pro one, which I paid 350 Australian dollars for to get the premium treatment. $350 meant that for the price of one Fiverr Pro ordered, I could get three other artists to recreate the landscape fantasy depiction. So I guess, uh, you win some, you lose some. All right, let's have a look at what we've got. I'm just gonna look at these one at a time. Make a concept art for your original character. Hey, that one's pretty cool. How much did I pay for this one again? 45 Australian dollars. I think that's that's worth the money and that's that's pretty cool. Did they create the- Hey, look, there's a little chicken. Do you see there's a little chicken? Yeah, that's the family crest on his crotch there. A little, little chicken crotch. I think that turned out pretty well. Round of applause for you, good sir. All right, now we have the superhero character design artist. I paid 86 Australian dollars for this. So I was obviously stretching what they were willing to do because they, they sign up for doing superhero art, but this is what they created using my using my pose and structure. Pretty cool, less color than I would hope. I have to say, I feel like I got more value out of the $45 one than this, which is almost 90 Australian dollars. The shading is cool, I gotta give them that. Like there, there's, there's cool metallic shading. It does feel a little hard to see the areas of the armor. Like the armor does look cool. I do think that the chicken head crest looks cooler on this armor. I do prefer the first one, but this this is a, this, this gets a little, a little golf clap. Well done. This was $61.10 Australian cents. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I mustn't have paid for color in this one, but that's a really solid like outline and design. This is strong. This is a strong outcome. I mean, even the chicken crest on the helmet there, that's really cool. There's not a face though. I believe I specifically asked for the the head to be visible. Add a cool helmet that shows their face and a stern badass expression underneath. That's a shame. A cool outcome, but not exactly what I was after. Interesting nonetheless, and well executed. I really like the line work and the solid outline. Moving on, what else do we have? Oh, this is fun. This is fun. Now, I believe these last four are the uh, the big landscape, the, uh, the, the big, the big book cover that I was <laughs> requesting. Now initially, you'll remember I actually commissioned two people to do this, but because the Fiverr Pro canceled, I got to commission three others at different price points. So I actually commissioned someone to do something for $150, $100, and $25. So let's go through those in sequential order because the last one was $285. We'll save that to the end and see if that lives up to the price I was paying. So let's check out the $25 epic book color cover illustration. Oh my God, that was 25 bucks? That's awesome. <laughs> That's cool. I am impressed. Wow, 25 bucks. I would put that I would put that on a book cover for 25 bucks. Now remember, this is the cheapest artwork I've commissioned in this whole video so far. And it feels one of the most substantial. Very impressive. Moving up now to the $100 commission. Remember, this is the same scene, same instructions for $100. <laughs> what? Whoa! Oh my God, well done. Look at Garius and his little kitty cat. <laughs> yeah, I can definitely see the photo textures here. Um, like, yeah, you can see like the, the rubble, the trees, even the buildings in the background, but it's layered together. In a, in a very, very effective way. And this person over delivered on the result, even though uh, to justify working for that amount of money, they cut some corners to, to make sure 
uh, I got essentially what I was pitching. So I'm totally happy with that. That is well and truly worth the $100 I paid. That was cool. We're only stepping up from here, people. The standard has been set, like the bar has been set really high with the $25 and $100 orders. So now we have $150 and $285. And, and they have a lot to, to live up to. Oh my God, <laughs> wow. Now, okay, so obviously you're paying more now and the entire thing you can tell is custom painted. We got Garius and his kitty cat. <laughs> you can tell even this one as opposed to the last one I showed, which was still very impressive, but you can tell this one is entirely hand painted and the whole thing feels entirely unique and was created for this commission. So another round of applause, people. All right, Ooh. the grand finale. Very excited for this and nervous. $285, people. $285. How much value for money can you get on Fiverr for $285? Oh, wow. Okay, good, yeah. Oh, where's the kitty cat? Oh, there's no kitty cat. Oh my God, this dude is, has modeled, I think, both the character and the robot in 3D and then done like Photoshop texturing and lighting on top. Cause you can see, zooming in here, you can tell that this is this is a, a 3D render. And even same with the character, just the way that they're like set up, I feel like there's just sort of, um, what's the word? Like uh, those Photoshop filters where you can break it down or posterize it, that sort of thing. I feel like they've done that to the character and that the robot is kept in its three dimensional form, but with texture overlays painted on top and then just some other manual tweaking, which is a clever way to uh, to customize it, make it feel part of a, a painting. I can still see in the volcano, there are other assets used here. We have uh, a fairly grainy pixely overlay for the lava. So I feel like for $285, there are corners cut that I'm not hugely happy with. But then again, I did ask for more than the one character and scene thing that they specified. So I don't know, it's a, it's a little tricky. I'm interested to know what you guys think. Which was your favorite result as far as value for money goes on Fiverr? And can you picture yourself using this service if you're looking to fill in an art order or, or get something custom? I'm interested to know if you as artists feel like that the prices I paid are fair for the work that I got. No, I feel like it's scaling fairly evenly. Again, this is $25, this is $100. That one actually blows my mind as far as what I paid. I feel like there's a lot of depth there. I think there's a lot of value in that execution. This one, totally hand painted, a different orientation, but really well pulled off. This one, an epic scale, very grand, very well uh, colored and put together. A few corners cut that I'm not super happy with, but again, they had to make a choice to balance their time with what I was paying and the amount I was asking for. And I have to say, I'm happy with all of the results and really impressed. There is one order left to look at though. And I think one that most of us are most eager to check out. And that is the video ideas. Let's see what we've got here. Tips on minimalistic painting, working with black, white shades, following string art. And there's a reference given here, tips, tricks, and best practices. Let me click on this. I'm clicking on random links to random places on the internet. This is probably not very wise. Oh, string art. Like the, the, like the string on the, that's cool. Working with dots in painting, dotted painting. Mastering mandala art. Mandala, mandala. I don't know how to pronounce it. That's this sort of, I, I think it's like a, an Indian visual pattern thing. That's a great idea. These are really good ideas. Art legend focus. Do an in-depth and visually engaging analysis on the life, work and inspiration behind historically famous artists. These are really good ideas. Tips on marketing yourself online as an artist, selling your work more profitably. Mastering ASC2 art. What's that? How to make ASC2 art. What is it? Oh, is it is it the text? Yeah. Ah, that would be that would be interesting. I have to say, these are really good ideas. <laughs> that was like twelve bucks. They're great video. I'm gonna rate my experience. Thanks for saving my channel. <laughs> okay. That's it. That's our experience. We, we have thoroughly and in-depth experienced Fiverr and commissioning art and creativity on Fiverr, and it's been a very 
Very interesting experience. I have to say, I feel like I got the most out of it the more I sought out of it, if that makes sense. So when I just wanted the character, the simple character thing, and I was paying like 30 to $60, some of the results were cool. It was a bit hit and miss or whatever, but I really feel like when I dived in with like a hundred plus dollars on a more grand idea, I was getting really cool stuff back. And that's, that's something to keep in mind that is very interesting. <laughs> the moral being, you get what you pay for, which is, something in life to keep in mind, really. Let me know what you think of the video ideas. Let me know of those video ideas, which one appeals to you the most and which I should actually do on this channel. Let me know which of the art commissions was your favorite and the best value for money and what you think of the Fiverr experience overall. Otherwise, that's it for now, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to this channel. Draw with Jazza for more fun with art and creativity, things we've tried before and things we haven't. There's a shop there you can support if you like my work and there are other videos on the channel over there and a vlog channel that you can check check out the behind the scenes too. Otherwise, uh, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to hit like, leave a comment, and until next time, I'll see you later.